using the TI-8384 plus calculator to construct the confidence interval estimate of a population proportion. This video uses the example titled Constructing a Confidence Interval Poll Results. First, identify the number of successes X in the number of trials N. If you only know the sample size and the sample proportion, the number of successes can be calculated by multiplying those two values together. In this example, we know the sample size is 1,487 and the sample proportion is 0.43. Multiplying these two values together yields the result of 639.41, which we round to 639. This is the number of successes in this example. Press the STAT key, then press the right arrow key twice to select the menu option of Tests. The highlighted option appears as white text in a black box. Use the down arrow buttons to select the menu option 1 Prop Z Int. Then press Enter. You can also press the Alpha key and then Math key for A to select this function. This command identifies the confidence interval for the case involving one proportion, as in this example. This is constructed using a critical z-score. First, enter the number of successes x. In this example, we enter 639. Press enter after each entry to move to the next input item. For the next item n, enter the number of trials, which is 1,487 in this example. For the next item, C, level, enter the desired confidence level. In this example, we are finding the 95% confidence interval estimate, so we enter 0.95. Press Enter and Calculate will now be highlighted as indicated by the blinking cursor. Press Enter again to view the results. The confidence interval is displayed in the results on the first line within parentheses. In this example, we are 95% confident that the interval from 0.405 to 0.455 actually does contain the true value of the population proportion. We can also calculate the margin of error by subtracting the sample proportion from the upper bound of the confidence interval. In this example, the margin of error equals 0.455 minus 0.430, which equals 0.025.